Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, hello, welcome. Today's video is going to be an Amazon haul, but I'm going to be sharing some really fun wedding guest dress options. I know wedding season will be here before we know it, and you're probably thinking, what am I going to wear to my friend, my cousins, my sisters, my brothers, whoever it is, wedding? Well, I'm here with some really fun, very affordable options from Amazon. This video is kindly sponsored by Grace Karen, which is one of my favorite brands on Amazon. They really are so great at creating feminine, flattering, and affordable, but also very high quality clothing pieces on Amazon. So they have so many different fun pieces and dresses to choose from that are perfect for like any wedding that you could have coming up on your calendar, or if you're just looking for sort of a special occasion dress, something to wear to an event or a date or a party that you have coming up, these will also be great options for those things as well. As always, everything that I will share with you will be linked down in the description box in order of appearance so that you can shop these items super easily as well as the sizing information of what I got and my sizing info so you can better make a decision on what size you might need. Let's get right into it. This first dress is something that I would pick if I was going to a wedding where I sort of got the vibe that it was going to be a little bit more of like a nighttime party, maybe a little bit more of a fancy situation. If the invitation said cocktail attire, I think this would be the perfect dress. Cocktail attire means, you know, wear a cocktail dress, get a little bit fancier, not like red carpet fancy. It's time to get a little dressed up. And nothing says getting a little dressed up like a dress full of sequins. Am I right? Or am I right? So as with all the Grace Karen pieces, this dress comes in several different color options. I just really love this like blue and green sort of iridescent vibe. It's really, really pretty. It like gives mermaid. I love it. I got it in a size medium, which in Grace Karen, I feel like I flip flop between small and medium. I pay attention a lot to their size charts to sort of determine the size that I'm going to get. And I think in this case, I could have gone with a small, just for a little bit more of a snatched look in the waist area. It's a little bit looser than I would like this dress to fit, but it still looks really cute. And I also think it's super flattering with this sort of like gathered ruched detail that's going on in the waist area. It just kind of like makes everything look like it's coming in. And again, if I would have gotten a size small, it would have looked a little bit more snatched than it does, but you get the picture. The neckline is also really nice. It's not super low. There's no cleavage. So if you're looking to be a little bit more modest, it's definitely um, a great option, especially for a wedding, because you don't want to be necessarily like too over the top with the girls when you go to a wedding. You know, I mean, like a little bit's fine. A little bit more than this is fine. But if you're somebody who uh, definitely wants to be a little bit more on the modest side, this is a great dress for that. It feels really comfortable on. I love the little split wrap hem going on. It's so sparkly. And I definitely feel like it's very, very eye-catching. Um, so definitely a stunning piece for any sort of fancier events or weddings that you might have coming up. This dress I think is so stunning and elegant. And I am really kind of loving the color. It's sort of this like slate green kind of muted green color but it's really unique it's very pretty um, and I think this is just a super flattering dress first of all I got this in a small which um, I think is really the size I should be taking in Grace Karen pieces because that's what tends to fit me better um, the fabric of this has like a little bit of stretch not a ton so it does have a little bit of forgiveness in there. Um, what I really love about it is this little tie thing that comes across your waist and just sort of knots and drapes right there I think personally for me, and I don't speak for all the ladies out there, but I know it's a common uh, problem area that we all have is like right on our stomachs. So this sort of sash kind of covers it up, camouflages it, um, and creates a really flattering, more like snit, sn I can't talk today, snatched in look at your waist because you're creating that smaller waistline with the tie. Um, it is a little bit tighter around the hips, but again, the fabric has a lot of stretch, so I don't feel constricted or anything. Um, and I love the sort of like flowy, billowy sleeves, just a really pretty feminine touch. Again, I think this would be a really pretty option if you were going to a wedding that had a little bit more of a dressy vibe. Maybe it's still a little bit chilly out and you want to keep your arms covered. It's a great option. And again, would be really pretty for other special occasions as well. Maybe a nice dinner out with some tall over the knee boots or of course some pre fun, pretty sparkly heels like the ones that I'm wearing. These are currently a little bit marked down from Dolce Vita. Highly recommend. So comfortable. This one shoulder dress is another stunning option for like a more dressy, uh, more cocktail attire wedding or just a more dressy special occasion. It looks so gorgeous on. It has this really pretty like silky, shiny sheen to the fabric. Um, and I love, again, the sort of like 
draping, I guess, that's going on around the waist. It kind of, again, like the previous dress, covers and camouflages any sort of like tummy problem areas that you might have uh, to sort of just create a more like snatched waist. It's sort of bringing your eye away from that area almost. Um, I love the one shoulder aspect. I think it's such a fun neckline. It really shows off this whole area, which is a really pretty area to showcase in my opinion. Um, I got this dress in a medium and like the other medium, I think I could have definitely gotten a small. The fabric again has a good amount of stretch to it, so it's pretty forgiving and I think again a small would have fit me just a little bit better and sort of been a little bit more flattering for me. This just feels like it's slightly, just slightly too big. So definitely pay attention to their size chart, but I usually am like, um, I don't know, in some brands I'm a medium, some I'm a small, but in Grace Karen, I think it runs just a slight bit big. So I would say if you're kind of in between sizes to go towards the smaller of the two. But a gorgeous dress, also, you know, very modest, and I think this would also make a really interesting dress for, like, bridesmaids, perhaps, uh, because it's really simple and it's affordable. It comes in a bunch of other colors, too. So, yeah, really gorgeous, very classic dress to add to your wardrobe for all the weddings that you might have coming up or any other special occasions. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you're new, hi, my name is Jessica. I make videos two, three times a week here on YouTube about affordable fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel. So if those subjects seem like something you would like to see more content of, then definitely hit that red subscribe button right down below. And then ding the little bell as well. That just sends you a nice little notification every time I upload a new video. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok, which I will put the links to those uh, down below, but I am at Miss More Style all across the board. Highly recommend to find me over there so you can get even more fun content from me and make sure to say hello and that you came from YouTube. Let's get back into the haul. So maybe you're going to a wedding or an event and you don't feel like wearing a dress. A jumpsuit is the perfect option for that and I love wearing a jumpsuit to these events sometimes because it just feels a little bit more unexpected than choosing to wear a dress or a skirt and they just tend to be so much more comfortable and you can move around in them a lot more. If you love to dance, it's definitely a better option because you just can have a lot more freedom of movement than you could in a dress. Uh, this jumpsuit is so lovely. I love it so much. So first of all, the neckline is super cute. It's got this little keyhole aspect right there and it's a high neck. So showing off the shoulders, the arms, it's really pretty. Comes in at the waist slightly and then um, has pockets, which I love. And then it has sort of like a kind of wide leg situation. Now, a couple things to note about this. I got it in a medium again, because I don't know why, but when I ordered this round of clothes, I was like second guessing my sizing. So uh, I think the small would have been probably a little bit better because the waist feels a little bit loose. Um, but the other part is if I got a small, the area around my hips might've been a little bit tighter. So that might not have been as cute. So if you're shaped like me, if you have hips, but a smaller waist, kind of consider that trade-off because if you go for the size that's gonna fit you in the middle, then you might get the hip and butt area being a little bit too tight. So it's really up to you. Um, but the other thing is I'm 5'7", and the pants on this are a little short. So if you are tall, like if you're my height or if you're taller, this might not be the greatest thing. I think I can get away with it by just wearing like some cuter flats with this so that it doesn't broadcast the fact that the pants are not quite long enough for me too much. Um, but if you are a little bit more petite, then the length should be perfect. Otherwise, it's really, really comfortable on. I love the color. Again, it comes in a bunch of different colors if you're not really into green. Based on this haul and what I have gotten so far, I feel like I was having a moment with green when I made these choices, but it's a really pretty color. The fabric feels really great on, and it's just a really classic piece that, again, you could wear it dressed up to a wedding, um, but you could also wear it you know, really casual, just depending on how you choose to style it. This dress is absolutely stunning. And in the yellow color, I really am feeling like I'm giving like Belle from Beauty and the Beast, which I really love. This dress, like all the others uh, that Grace Karen offers, has so many different color options, but I wanted to go for yellow just to change it up in this haul. And I also just, I love wearing the color yellow. It just brightens my mood and makes me so happy and it feels very like fresh and cheerful. Um, again, I felt like with the off the shoulder vibe and it being in this color, it emulated my favorite Disney princess. So I also like that aspect of it. Um, but this dress is so comfortable on. So I got this in a medium. Again, it's one of those ones where I probably could have gotten a small, but in the case of this one, it fits pretty well. Um, I don't hate it. The off the shoulder is 
pretty stretchy. I mean, it's got a little extra stretch. It's definitely uh, a lot more tight than most other off-the-shoulder dresses that I've owned, but I kind of like that because it makes the dress feel like it's secure. It feels it feels like it's held up. It's not going to like slip off my shoulders and expose anything. Uh, the other thing that I think is really nice about this dress is just the fact that it has these long sort of like cape-like feature. So if you're somebody who doesn't really like to show off their arms, this is the perfect dress because it really hides that whole area of your arm that tends to be the area that we feel a little bit more insecure about, I would say. And then instead you're just showing off your chest and your shoulders. It looks really, really pretty and really flattering and it can definitely hide like arm problem areas if you feel insecure about that and you want to cover that up. Um, a gorgeous like bodycon dress. So you may or may not want to put some shapewear underneath it to keep everything nice and smooth, but it looks so stunning on. I think it's really flattering. And again, this could be great for cocktail attire if you wanted to like dress it up with something sparkly. Or I could also see this working for like a more like outdoor gardeny kind of wedding as well. Okay, I don't wear like bright royal blue a lot. It's a beautiful color, but something about it, I just don't know. I feel like, I don't know. It's just not a color I normally reach for, but I decided to put myself into or out of, I should say, my comfort zone and try this color again. And it's really, really stunning. Uh, I think really the reason why I have a hard time with it is I always have a hard time figuring out like what to style it with, like what colors. Um, but I find like really pretty sparkly silver tends to look really nice with royal blue. This is of course a an asymmetrical one shoulder mermaid style dress. Now I love me a mermaid dress. I think that they are just so uh, figure flattering. They really can just give you some like va va voom curves. Whether or not that's your body type it will still create that illusion of being sort of like hourglassy because it goes in at the smallest part of your waist, hugs your hips, and then sort of has like the little flounce at the knees that goes out that really creates that optical illusion of an hourglass. Uh, this dress is gorgeous. I got this one in a small and it definitely fits like a glove, but I, I want it to fit like that because that is how it is supposed to fit. So I think going with the small in this case was the right way to go, but a really gorgeous dress. The fabric does have some stretch again, so a little bit forgiving there um, sizing wise. It does have a hidden zipper in the side to help you get in and out of it. Um, I just, I think this is so stunning. It's very glam. It's very like, you know, kind of sexy with but not being like over the top, if that makes sense. So again, a great dress, probably perfect for a more cocktail attire uh, wedding um, because it does have a little bit more of a fancy feel with the neckline and the shape of the dress. If you're not into the bright royal blue or you have sort of a hard time styling it like I do, again, this dress does have several different color options for you to choose from. So I was editing this video and realized I didn't film the part about me talking about this fabulous red dress, but this dress, I think, is just, it's so, like, va va voom, you know? Like, if you want to show up at the event and really make a statement, be a little bit sexy, this is the dress. Now, I know a lot of people say you shouldn't wear red to a wedding. I don't know. I think that's, like, a really weird, old, antiquated rule. I'm going to guess it's somewhere rooted in like not being too flashy or something. But I know personally when I got married, I didn't care if people wore red. It really was not something that I was concerned about. As long as people didn't wear white, I was totally cool. So if you want to wear red to a wedding because it's like your power color. For me personally, I know I look really good in red. So it's a, a color that I gravitate towards to a lot and buy dresses in. So... I love this. It's very stretchy. It's really, really comfortable. I believe I got this in a small and I just, it fits like a glove. And I feel like all the like ruching going on in the dress just sort of makes it um, flattering and kind of like hides or camouflages little problem areas that you might have, which I absolutely love. So definitely a stunning dress, comfortable, great for a wedding guest dress, or even like, you know, a cute date night dress as well. I think this would be such a good dress to have in your closet to pull out. So this dress, uh, you know, I, I made my order for this video with the intention of showing like wedding guest dresses that you could wear. Yeah, I accidentally ordered white. This would definitely not be the right thing to wear as a wedding guest, but if you're a bride and you have some fun like bridal events that are in your timeline of uh, getting married, maybe your bridal shower or engagement party, engagement photos, um, 
anything like that, bachelorette party, this is such a cute and comfortable dress and I think it is just, it's so pretty. I decided to style it with my new high top white Converse that I just got that I absolutely love. They are so comfortable and I think with something that's this girly, you know, it's like all lace and it's off the shoulder and it's extremely feminine and girly, I like to juxtapose that sometimes and offset it with something that feels a little bit more unisex or something that's a little bit more edgy and so wearing such a girly dress with sneakers I think just gives it a really cute look and I think this would be a really adorable look um, for you know certain occasions um, even if it was just like you know for a party in the summertime not necessarily bridal related even though that's sort of the theme of this haul uh, but I the off the shoulder part of it is really nice a lot of the time the thing I have a problem with with off the shoulder dresses is they just feel constricting in your arms and your ability to move but this has a lot of stretch so I can kind of like move around and I don't feel like I'm being constricted um, it has like it fits perfectly in the waist I got a high small on this it fits perfectly everywhere it's super flattering and it does come in some other colors so if you did want to wear this dress as a wedding guest to an upcoming wedding you certainly could just order it in one of the other actual colors it comes in don't go with this one because it's sweet. we are I love it though so moving into some more casual options for the more spring summer months um, this dress is so adorable and I think it would be such a cute and fun option for any wedding that you have that maybe is like held in the daytime or just like implicitly says on the invitation that it is casual, maybe even cute for a beach wedding, depending on the venue. I also think this dress is just gonna be something I wear so much as soon as it starts warming up because it just, it's so easy to just throw on and wear. It's really, really comfortable. It's a nice, like soft, stretchy cotton uh, maxi dress, which has a pockets, which makes it just earn double points in my mind because I just, I love a dress with pockets, but I also just love the colors and the print. It has a little bit more of like a retro sort of feel to it, I think, with something about the combination of the colors um, just makes me think of like the 60s or the 70s, and I love that. It has sort of like a vintage -y sort of look to it, if you will, and it's so comfortable. This would also just be perfect to wear, you know, any time during the summer with some flat sandals. You could wear it with little white sneakers and make it really casual. Um, so, so much use and versatility for this dress, and I just can't wait for it to get warm so I can wear it more. But it's so cold here in LA, and it was literally snowing last week here. If you go online, you can see pictures of snow in the Hollywood Hills. It's wild. So, uh, dreaming of spring right here, right along with the rest of you guys. We are also freezing our butts off here in Southern California. So, that's the weather report. <laughs> On to the next dress. This dress might be my favorite of the entire haul, and it's the one that I expected to not like at all. Like, I, I don't know, when I saw it, I was like, okay, maybe I'll like that one, but now that I have it on, of. Um, so obviously this is definitely a lot more casual just like the previous dress was for those more casual daytime weddings maybe a beach wedding again um, but I am going to wear this so much as soon as it gets warm this is so comfortable first of all the fabric feels like a dream on it's so soft it feels kind of like silky um, it's just this really cute like faded yellowy base with a little lavender and faded orange like rose print all over it it's so precious it definitely gives like cottage core vibes if you're into that look at all which I kind of like it every once in a while very cute feminine uh, whimsical sort of style this part right here is smocked and it has so much stretch to it so definitely um, very forgiving although this part like right at the top has a bit less stretch but all of this very stretchy the bow is just for show it doesn't pull anything tighter or act as a drawstring and then the waist also has a lot of elastic and stretch again i just love the way that it flows i love the the hem of it it's kind of asymmetrical it's slightly a little bit longer in the front and goes up in the sides but it's not a super obvious or drastic difference so i really like that sort of aspect of it i think it really just adds to its uniqueness and makes it look really pretty and man i just i cannot wait for it to be spring so that i can wear this dress all the time which I know I will be because it's it's just so so comfortable thanks again to Grace Karen for sponsoring today's video I always really love their pieces if you're interested in uh, some more fun Grace Karen finds that would also be great options if you're going to a wedding or a special event coming up I would love to invite you to watch this video where I have some more fun feminine dressy finds there that you will absolutely love make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it helpful it really does also help me out a lot I'll see you guys over here and if not I'll see you guys on the next one bye